Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Live Animal Crossing with me, Rock Paper Mario. Get that shovel out of here. Um, the reason I'm, well I'm making this for two reasons. First of all, I noticed yesterday when I was playing this that the Harvest Moon is tonight, so I wanted to show you guys that. But I also have some stuff that I want to, um, I also have some stuff that I want to talk about just to warn you guys, well not warn you guys, but just to, just to talk to you guys about something that may or may not be happening in the- don't worry it's nothing bad nor is it nothing extremely good either it's just something that I just want to give you guys a heads up for that may be happening in the next few weeks um, I just want- don't want to- but well, we'll get to that eventually let's just walk around and enjoy things I like using the time in these videos just to ask you guys how you're doing and to let you guys know that I'm doing fine and everything and Oh, there's something else. Jeez, there's just stuff all over the place today, isn't there? Um, as you can see, I have 32,000 bells. There's only 18,000, no, 50,000 left to pay on my house. Okay, well, we'll just have to wait for that. There's only 15,000, 50,000 left to pay on my house at the moment. Um, nothing else, and then I'll... Do I need that? Is that what I have? I don't think I have that one. Okay, well, let's see if we can catch it. I have a crap ton of stuff. Just that I need to... That I need to go to the museum with. A load of stuff. Where did he go? Come back here. Oh, just when I was about to get it. I have a load of stuff that I need to... Go to the... Yes, thank you. I caught a migratory locust. I wonder if it flies south for the winter or that. I do not know. Um, I have a load and a load of stuff back in my house that I need to bring to the museum, but I haven't brought there yet because I want to go with you guys to the museum to show you the reactions and stuff like that. Just because, like, I don't feel like I I'm always fishing, so I end up catching loads of fish. As you can see, I have mo I have all of them except five. There are only five more fish. One of them I know is the string fish, and you can't catch that until January. Insects, I'm not doing that bad on, but I just don't have the same interest in insects as I do in the fish, so. Um, but I have a load of stuff back at the basement that I need to bring to the museum, but I'll I'll bring do that all in due time, so. Good evening. The moon viewing is about to begin. This evening we will see the harvest moon. Where is that? Is that at the lake? I have a feeling that it's at the lake. There's another one of those. Well, they're not that. They're not that rare. They are hard to catch, though. Shut up, crickets. Well, here's the. Oh, look! They are all looking up. Well, what do we do? Do we see its reflect? Oh my God! Look at that. Do you know what this is reminding me of? This is really reminding me of. Do you remember, did you? Did any of you guys ever see Tales of the River Bank? It was made ages and ages ago. It's in black and white. It was made in England, and it's like um, it's like a show, and it it's like basically they filmed hamsters and guinea pigs. Like there's GP the guinea pig, and there's Hammy the hamster, and stuff, and like they filmed the actual creatures, and then like push like voices to them to make it like it doesn't look like they're talking, but it's like as if they were talking and stuff, and it's really good. And there's one of them. I have this video. That's really interesting music. Um, I have this video of it um, that I used to watch when I was small, and it's a really long video. I don't think I ever watched the whole thing because it just seemed so long. It was probably about three hours long of loads of them. Um, and the first one on that video is the story of the night the moon came down to bathe. And it's like Hammy is having dinner with GP, I think it is. And they and Hammy tells a story or else GP tells a story or someone does um, about the night the moon came down to bathe about these ducks that went to watch the moon when it was in bathing in the rip pond which was actually like its reflection and when they went into the pond they scared her in inverted com like in inverted commas to um they scared her, and she went away and got embarrassed and went away. But it was actually that they disturbed the surface of the pond with their ripples and stuff. And it's just a really nice story, and that's what this is reminding me of. It looks so beautiful. 
It's this kind of greeny color though. It looks kind of get out of here, you stupid locust. Get out of here. Yeah, go on. Don't scare the moon away. But it looks kind of like when the full moon is there in um Wind Waker. That's what it kind of looks like. It's this kind of cool color. Let's see what Zoe has to say. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck from staring up at the moon. Harry, you should remember to stretch so that this doesn't happen to you. Oh, thanks for the advice. What about this guy? Is he Billy? Yeah, Billy. I guess Zoe was feeling a little lonely. It's no fun watching the moon alone, dagnammit. I don't know, there's something about watching the moon alone that I like. You know what this is reminding me of as well is that Neil Young song, Harvest Moon. You're the one that goes like, ding, 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 ding. It's a really good song, but I remember there was this show that they used to show on VH1 at really late at night, like at about 12 o'clock at night called Americana and this is when I was like I'd say about 14 but my dad and I used to stay up and watch it so like in the middle of the night, like from 12 until 1 or something like that or was it 11 until 12 it was one of them anyway but it was basically just a, it was all like it could there could have been anything on it it was all like just American music but good American music so it could have been from any time from any artist or whatever but it usually kind of leaned towards more folksy or country kind of stuff but not in general like there could have been anything on it um literally like there could have been Neil Young with, like that's what I'm saying Harvest Moon was one of the songs that was on it a lot but they also did Neil Young This Notes For You quite a lot or there could have been Johnny Cash on it or Joni Mitchell or like even like the Flaming Lips were on it sometimes or any like anyone could have been on it and it was just like it wasn't that they were on it like live it was that they just showed the videos and I always remember that but there was some, some really good music on it like it was all good music would be on that show um, but yeah, Harvest Moon was one of the songs that they used to play on that thing a lot. Harvest Moon by Neil Young, which is a great song. Um, speaking of Harvest Moon, I still haven't gotten Harvest Moon, It's a Wonderful Life. I want to get it for the PS2. I don't think I ever said this. One second. Isn't everybody, no matter where you stand, the moon is always round. Every day! <laughs> that was kind of funny. But, um... What was I going to say? Oh yeah, I don't think I've ever told you this, but I always wanted to get Harvest Moon, It's a Wonderful Life. When it, when I first heard about it for the GameCube, I always wanted it. And I remember going into the game shops, like about 20 times asking if they had that game, and they never got it in. They ne never, ever got that game in, and I never got to play it, and I really wanted to play it. And now I really want to get it, but I kind of want to get it from for the PS2. Um, ooh, what's that? Fishy. Um, if for no other reason than just to justify having a PS2 for more, like, to have more games on my PS2. Not that I don't have a lot of them, but, ooh, do I have, ooh, a salmon. And it made it all the way back here. No, we feel bad. Well, don't. There are plenty more fish in the sea. Oh, hi, Matilda. Harry, well, what a pleasant evening, hmm, wee baby. I don't mind telling you when that falls, I suddenly feel a desperate need to see people, wee baby. What are you, an old, um, <laughs> I bet she's an old brasser, that's what she is. <laughs> she sounds like one. Enough idle chit chat. Did you need something from a wee baby? Oh, jeez, no, I don't need what you're selling. <laughs> Whatever you say, wee baby. <laughs> Jeez, if Matilda's not on the game, then I don't know who is. I have some letters to send. Let's go and do some errands. Oh my god, I haven't talked about what I wanted to talk about. The thing I wanted to talk about was that I'll be starting college on Monday. Um, yeah, this Monday coming. Um, as in, yeah, this Monday coming, as in the 19th of September. And looking at my timetable, I really don't know what I'm going to be do going to do about recording. I really don't see, like, I'll have to wait and see what happens as far as recording is concerned, because I really don't see a time that screams, this is a great time to record, like, a, on a weekly basis. Because it was different last year, I had every Friday off, it made a huge difference, so I was able to record um, every Friday for the next week. Um, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case now, it might be a bit more tough, so... I don't know what I'm like after the, I think after Christmas I'll have Fridays off again I don't know it's looking that way but my timetable's not finalized yet so I really don't know so that's why I want to 
warn you guys. I just want to give you guys a heads up because I hate disappearing, like, like disappearing all of a sudden and not like giving you guys notice of why I'm not uploading videos that um that reg as regularly as I normally do. So that's why I like I really want to just give you guys a heads up that there might be now there might not be I might like there might be a time that like because I do have like I'm planning this week to record like this is my last week of holidays and I'm planning to record more stuff like more Mario Sunshine and some Pokemon Stadium maybe and some um more Final Fantasy to have that done I have all of my Sonic Heroes for Butt Vault recorded so I don't have to worry about that anymore for the moment and Amanda and I are hoping to finish off Banjo-Kazooie this week so that'll be that all out of the way, which is great for me. Um, so I'm so I'll have plenty of stuff in store for like for a while. So to help until for until I find my feet and until I find a time that suits me to record. Um, um so there there mightn't be any problem at all. There mightn't be any lag. Um, there mightn't be any video drought whatsoever. But I just want to warn you guys, just in case there is, that that's the reason, is because I'm starting college um, this Monday the 19th, and, like, it, to be honest, it doesn't look like there's a time, that there's a regular time when I'll be able to record at the moment. My timetable is kind of all over the place. I have kind of odd times where I start most days, and that really doesn't suit me, and odd times when I finish, so, like, I've, like, most days I have something that's in the middle of the day, so that really doesn't suit me. I prefer to have either stuff in the morning and then come home, like get the bus out and walk home, um, or something like that. It just, it doesn't suit me to have that kind of a timetable, so. Um, but as I said, it looks like maybe after Christmas I'll have Fridays off, um, so that might work out then. But, as I said, I'm just warning you that there might be a little... Like, I might, like, start uploading videos kind of sel... Not seldomly, but I might kind of... If it looks like I'm going to run out, I might I might kind of upload a bit less regularly just to kind of keep... Just so that, like, I don't disappear for a week or two weeks or something like that. So, I don't know, maybe I'm just being alar an alarmist and maybe I'm overreacting and kind of... I don't know, but... For the moment, I'm just, like, as I said, I'm just warning you guys, because I do hate, like, I hate disappearing all of a sudden, like, like, kind of what ha like, what happened with, um, with the whole computer thing when I couldn't record, when kind of Mario Sunshine and stuff all just disappeared, and I feel like I'm after get finally getting back into a good rhythm with Mario and Final Fantasy. And my channel is kind of becoming a bit tidier now that I kind of have... Now that Banjo-Kazooie is nearly finished, it feels like I'll be getting back to normality. Not that I, like... Not that I'm delighted that Banjo-Kazooie is over, but it was kind of going on for a bit long. Ooh, Torshimer! But, like... I just... I don't want to kind of get out of a routine, I don't know. Hurry! Tonight is the night of the Harvest Moon! It's a big, bright, full moon that signifies the season for harvesting crops. I love this time of year. It means the harvest festival is coming, bro. Huzzah! I don't know. I'll give you a little something to remember this year's harvest moon. On this harvest moon. Doom, doom. Ba dong, dong, dong. Ba dong, dong. Da dong, dong, dong. What did he give us? A moon? What? He gave us the moon? Isn't there an episode of Winnie the Pooh where, like, Tigger wishes for the moon or something? Like, I have a really weird feeling that there's an episode, like, and I think it's the one where they're in the wishing well where he's going to- where he wishes for the moon. There's an episode of something where someone wishes for the moon. Or where someone gets the moon or something like that. And finally they're content just to look at the moon in the reflection of a pond, just like in the night the moon came down to bathe. Just like that, at, but at the end of the story, they're content just to look at the moon's reflection in the wa in 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 a pond and possess it that way without actually taking it. But I can't, for the life of me, think 
what that is. It's like sparking my memory some, because I've got like this big cavernous memory full of crap, basically. This is my new wallpaper. I found it, and I think it goes really well with my carpet. I think it's called Arched Windows. But, um... Yeah, say hello to all our friends. Jasper the Cicada, Morshuda, um, Giant Catfish, there's Shirley the Lightning Bug, and there's Maurice the Goldfish. Everyone's the gang's all here. What did I call this fish again? I don't know, that's a boring fish. I don't like him. Yeah, that's right, I don't like you. Um, but yeah, I really like this background, this wallpaper, because it looks like the um, the password screen in Super Castlevania 4 when you're getting your password. Let's see what this moon Torchmer gave us is. Oh my god, it is the moon! Jeez, if only it were that small in Majora's Mask, that would make things a hell of a lot easier. Jeez, that thing takes up a lot of room. The moon? That's crazy, I've never gotten that before. Anyway, I think that's enough for this video of Let's Live Animal Crossing, September 12th, 2011. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time in Let's Live Animal Crossing. I better go save. Oh, something that I never told you about this. I've been meaning every time I play, do, I record this, I like I go and I save and quit, and I remember something that I wanted to tell you guys, and I always forget, so I'm going to show you now. Watch this. Listen to this. Welcome home, Harry. Listen to the music when he's going into his house and closing the door, okay? Save. Would you like to save? That's right. Okay, listen, now. It goes, do, 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 which is like the start of Blackbird by the Beatles. You're like, Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to arrive. But, um, there's a really, the King Singers do a great version of that, actually, of Blackbird. And you know who does a version of Blackbird as well is Neil, or Neil, du not Neil Young, Neil Diamond. Neil Diamond does Blackbird as well, and do you know the way Neil Diamond is from New York? Well, when he does Blackbird, he says dead, like dead, like Blackbird singing in the dead of night, like did as in with a southern accent, which I find really strange, I don't know, it's like Blackbird singing in the dead of night, take these broken wings and learn to fly. But yeah, that's all I have to say, I've rambled on for long enough, so see you next time and let's live Animal Crossing, guys.